Hello, and welcome back to the second episode of our World Cup adventure, journey, escapade, whatever you want to call it. We have our second round opponent, and uh, I think they're going to be pretty upset when we knock them out. You'll see what I did. Oh, it's just so highbrow, that, that comedy. It's just, it just is something else, then. It just is. Right, so I suppose what I'll do is uh, scoot down. I'll show you the other teams that are in the uh, second round. So we've got Holland playing South Korea. So fortunately we won our group because I don't want to be Holland straight off the bat. Cameroon and Portugal is quite a busy one. But yeah, us against uh, Ghana. Who are No, don't do it. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. I'm playing a friendly against um, Cardiff after the final, apparently. I don't know why Cardiff are getting involved in the middle of a World Cup, but that's fine. Oh, it's a preliminary. I thought these were a country. I was like, who the hell are Ergadani? I've never heard of them. It's not a country, that's why. Uh, we're going to go with Sonny Draper in goal because I'm a bit concerned about that save. That um, Well, not even the save, that, that attempt of a save that Griffith did. We're going to go with Arnold and um, Shea. A little bit more. Uh, no, we'll go Arnold. Uh, Shea and Knox in the middle. Charles is out on the right, which I'm not so keen on, actually. We'll give McNamee that start. He's on a booking. Doesn't matter if he gets suspended, to be fair. Maybe he does. Uh, Bellingham and Foden in the middle. Don't want Bellingham to be that um, support role. <clears throat> Might change that out for Mount because Bellingham. I want to be one of these three. <clears throat> okay. So the team we're so the team the team we're going with is Sonny Draper in goal with Arnold and Taylor as our uh, wingers wing backs. Shea and Knox in the middle. We've got McNamee and Sancho playing out wide with uh, Mount and Foden in the middle. And then we've got Greenwood playing just above Hudson Odoi. Uh, we are going to bring off Funny Gale if it's things start going right because he's been playing really well when he's playing in that deep line playmaker role. So, Ghana, knockout round. It's our first knockout round. Um, they're playing a very narrow 4 2 3 1. Ziggy in goal, brilliant name. Mount gets in the cross. Ooh, I thought Shea was going to have it uh, straight off the bat then. But Magnamese rocketed over there to pick the ball up. He's knocked it back to Trent, who's picked up a booking already in the fourth minute. Um, what's he going to do? I thought he was going to whip across him, but he just kicks it at the player's heels. So, could do that as well. But Foden's powering over to the left, and he's going to pass it back to Taylor, who racks it into the corner. Lovely goal. Happy with that. Oh, uh, these ambulances, they're the English ones. Uh, we're in Spain. Not sure why their grounds look very English, but they do. So, who am I to, am I to uh, query that? Coley's had a bit of a stinker there. Just did a little lie down. Obviously, he was tired, wanted a rest. Um, God, South Korea are putting, uh, putting Holland to the test a bit there. Pretty sure it's already finished, but it's 2 1. Foden, back post. Oh, Jesus. There's a bit of a wild shot from Sancho. But Ziggy's racked it up now. Got to Francis, he's knocked it to Otanga, who's not scored. That could have could have been defended better, that could realistically, couldn't it? I think Cameroon have just knocked... Um, was it Brazil that were playing out of the World Cup? I'll have another look at it, but I'm sure they have. It's not a good result for the uh, team they're playing against, is it? Sancho's powering through, he's put it through to McNamee, who's just walked into the defender, which is good of him. But Arnold's loitering. Put it in. Greenwood's got the goal. Greenwood? Greenwood? Whatever his name is. He knows. Beautiful. <clears throat> I'm going to do what I did last time, just drop the balanced. So I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to be trying to push too much. It's Portugal, they're knocked out. Foden's whipped it in. Shay. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to start properly slowing things down now. 18 minutes in. 
we can get it all finished up in 18 minutes. That's beautiful. My dog's kicking off. Just celebrating, obviously. Yeah, you tell him, June. Right. 18 minutes. Have a bit of that. Skip this. Yeah, we'll take them changes. Just kind of sit on it now. I realise why the England managers always do it in the World Cups now. You score one goal and then just don't do anything else. There's just no point. As soon as I score, I think we'll turn it back on again. We're going to turn it back on again. <laughs> I know that was a fluke of a goal for him, but still. Let's not try and risk anything. It was just a lump up forward, and my centre back just decided to not try and uh, defend it, which is good. It's not like he's a defender or anything by his name. There's literally no one marking. That's just terrible. Right. The game's kind of just dribbling away now at the moment, but it looks a bit. Might take Trent off. Don't know. I'm not sure when the um, bookings get wiped. I might have a look at that. All previously accumulated yellow cards are cleared for this stage, so it's a semi-final. So we still need to go through this right game and another two rounds before the bookings are wiped out. I can't remember who's got ones, to be fair. I'll have a look at the end. Um, I'll make a sub. We'll leave Sancho on. Because I can bring on a different player for him for the next game, and I'll just completely rest him in the next game. Um, I will take off Matt Nami and I'll put Sancho out on the right though. So I'll put Rashford on. <coughs> Everything's kicking off. Right, we'll drop it back again now. Um, we'll stop running at the defence, we'll slow pace down and we'll stop countering so heavily and we'll just stop pressing so much as well. Hopefully I'll take a bit of the uh, urgency out of the team, should we say. What's happening in the body language? Everyone's confident. We'll just praise them. Nice if we could score another few goals while we're not uh, at full, full tilt. But to be fair, as long as we've got more than them, I don't particularly care what the scoreline is. Oh, there's a lucky from Sancho. What happened then? She kicked it at the back of his feet, by the looks of it. It's recommending me to put Bellingham at centre back for Knox. Just strange. Right, talking of Knox, quite a head of clearance there. Out to Mount. He was just gonna, just gonna run. Just keep running, lad. I think I'm gonna start time wasting as well. I'm gonna be a bit of a scumbag. Yeah, let's love it. Let's go on, we love it. I can't stop it. That was my subconscious just trying to stop me doing that then. Being a bit of a scumbag. Uh, we'll leave Sancho. Centre backs. Shea's playing better. He wants to play left back as well at some point. Uh, we'll bring Halcyon. <clears throat> so we've got just shy, of, just shy of ten minutes left. Foden. Oh, Rashford's been tripped. No, I'm not going to make the goalie do this one. Uh, I am going to see we've got as penalty taker there. I think it's it was Rashford ahead of Mount. Okay, yeah, they're both quick. He won the penalty as well, to be fair. Taylor's tired, but again, I've got another left back that I can play. Shay that I've just took off, or the other one that I can't remember. <laughs> so Rashford stepping up. Never in doubt. We'll just drop back to cautious now. Keep the fitnesses. Considering these guys have played the whole game, their fitness is still pretty healthy. Which is what I'm going for. So I'm hoping in next round or two, if we're playing against one of the stronger teams, they haven't been doing that. And then we can just hold off maybe for the first half of the game, tire them out and then smash them at the end. It's what I'm going for. Whether it will come off is a different matter. The team we're going with for the Ukraine game, uh, we've got Sunny's Roper in goal again. Arnold and Shea at fullbacks with Knox and Halsey in the middle. We've gone with Mane and Charles in the middle with McNamee and Bellingham on the left. 
And then we've got Gale playing just behind Rashford. I'm in a bit of a debate whether to start Greenwood. I know he's been our best striker, but I don't want him really tired. I'm playing him for the game against Ukraine. So we're playing Ukraine, but I don't know necessarily want to ruin his fitness if we're going to come up against a really stronger opposition in the following round. So I'm kind of walking that tightrope at the moment because I've only really got one out and out striker who's very good. I suppose Rashford could do it, but we'll see how this goes. And if we do take an early lead again, maybe we'll look at taking him off so he doesn't play the full game. Probably should have done that last time because he's I've got a few that can play the deep line role. But it's only really Greenwood that can play the advanced forward role. Vinigal might be able to, to be fair. Um, we'll encourage him. So Vizhniks taking their corner, but McNamee's got to uh, head to it. Goal kick, not corner. <laughs> McNamee's in the area, played it across, and Charlton's got an early goal for us. That's what we wanted. Uh, I'll see if I can praise him after the thing's gone. Fitness generally overalls quite good it's just uh there's a few players here and there they're getting a little bit tired and i want to try and stop it before it happens rather than reacting to it when it has uh i don't think it will let me praise him right arnold big throw now head on that please oh that's what we wanted so we're up for two now Burger fans aren't getting much uh, much love at the moment, are they? Which is a shame. That could have been defended better by Ukraine, but I don't particularly care. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that he wasn't. Uh, we'll praise them. And again, nah, Rizhnik's, uh he wasn't messing about with that one, was he? So he's lumped that forward, but Knox has got the header over to Bellingham. He's driving forward through the middle. I didn't think he was going to stop then. He's not, still got it. Put it to Alexander Arnold. Knocked out to Shea. Ooh, is there a question of offside there? No, beautiful. Uh, maybe we'll look at taking Greenwood off at half time then. We'll put Rashford up because Rashford's still obviously going to be very good, but I didn't want to put Rashford up and then regret not playing Greenwood. So I think it's going to be one of them that. Maybe we have to start him and then take him off as a reactionary thing. I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. Sinchenko and Napoli Anchor are still playing for him. Napoli Anchor's I'm a bit more surprised about because I'm pretty sure he's mid to late 20s now. That was... That was pretty poor from Shea. Just kick it out. Get it out for a corner or whatever. You just... It's just faffing about over here with their defender. With their winger. One tackle. Two tackles, three tackles, four tackles, still gets the cross in and the score. Yeah, that wasn't ideal, was it, realistically? It's a busy game. Uh, Greenwood and McNamee are playing between each other on the right. McNamee's playing forward to Greenwood. Took it back wide. Alexander Arnold's going to put it to back post. Bellingham's got another for us. Beautiful. Cancel out their goal that I just scored. Uh, I'm going to drop to balanced. It's 4-1. I'm going to play the play the numbers and realistically they're probably not going to score a fit. So I'm just going to start easing off a bit. Not too much, but just enough to hopefully get the uh, some of the fitnesses maintained. So, Charles and Bellingham playing between each other. Gale, Jesus, that would have been a good ball through. Yeah, I'm going to leave Greenwood in the uh, dressing room at half-time. Might even take one of the centre-backs out, or Shea. Probably take Shea off, actually, and I'm just not going to play him at centre-back again. Because I've only got him and Taylor, so if one of them gets injured, then we're in a position where we don't have any rotation, and that player's going to be wrecked. Greenwood, out to Arnold again, back in, oh McNamee hit the crossbar. Yeah, I'll make, make two subs at half time. So they're not game changing, they're just fitness maintaining, should we say. 
We haven't received a booking yet, which is good. Uh, so Shea out for Taylor and Rashford in for Greenwood. Good thing about bringing Rashford on is if we do get an injury in the middle of the park, we can shuffle him back if needs be as well. Or even if we just wanted to play more um, reserved, we can put a third man in the middle and just put Rashford out on that left side. And then we can just leave Gale up top on his own. Doesn't need to be... Uh, doesn't need to have a 4 4 2 do realistically. Right, this is all a bit... Uh, Bit busy at the moment, isn't it? Seven of the goal scorers shuffling over to our left back position and then kicking about five yards wide. So I'm happy with that. You can do that all day if you want, mate. A few of their players are a little bit sulky. We'll just drop more players again. Keep the green faces up. That's what we want to see. Mane across the near post. <laughs> Kettle didn't even attempt to head it. Back in. Halsey, 4 1. 5 1. I forgot about 4. Happy days. I think I may very well do that thing that I uh, hinted towards. Can any of you guys play at holding mid? Mana can, okay. So you drop back there. How do you play that? Deep line playmaker, I'm happy with that. Charles, you go on as Mzala on support. You go Mzala support. You stay inverted winger on support and also McNamee, you do the like do the likewise. Gale, you just you just do your role, mate. What do you want? You just go deep line forward on attack. We'll just sit on it. It's five one. It's five two. Oh good save, Draper. <laughs> uh right, we'll kick these down. Start time wasting. More disciplined. Um what else can we do? We'll take these two off, we'll slow the pace down and we'll stop pressing them so urgently. Just kind of... Just ease the way through the game now. Still quite a lot of relatively good fitnesses. McNamee's a bit tired but I might just rest him in the next game because I've got Sancho that I can put on for him. Um, I've still got a sub left as well actually. Let's use one of them centre backs. I'll take Knox off and put Dwyer in. Just try and keep them fresh. Should realistically have took Alexander Arnold off because he's on a booking. But I didn't, so it's already happened now. It's a good ball over to the back post. No one's awake, and Semenov's got his second. Again, I don't care. As long as they don't score another three goals, but we're going into a defensive formation. So. I really just don't think there's going to be any issue there. Could go to 5-4 for all I care, as long as we've got the uh, <laughs> the upper advantage on the goals. Let's probably do our morale a little bit of a uh, mishap, but it doesn't really matter. Big launch up. Charles, Gale's up there on his own. Just just go and run about with the ball, lad. Don't worry about it. Corner flag, go on. Beer scumbag. Nah. Nah, oh, he's not done it. That's disappointing. McNamee, skull, it's alright, it's even better. It's better time wasting than just smashing the ball into their net. We'll skip it, we don't want to see it again. Beautiful. I feel that that Cameroon and Holland one might be the other half of ours, I'm not sure. Well done, lads. 6-2, another high-scoring game. More concerned that we're conceding goals against the weaker teams, but it usually is the point when we started to take the foot off the pedal, so maybe that might be why. But hopefully with doing that, it leaves us the chance that when we are playing against the stronger teams, we'll have more fitness than them, hopefully. Turkey in the quarterfinals. So that'll be the first game of tomorrow's episode. Uh, I'm getting a, <laughs> an update from Moscow. Telling me how Charles did in his game for England. Thanks, Gal. I'm glad you've updated me with that. I don't know how I would have found that information out otherwise. If you've enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, flick on the bell. And thank you for your time.